Hey everybody, today we're going to talk a little bit about some of our solid modeling. Um, one of the big assignments here is a puzzle cube. Now something like this is really easy to build. I mean it's just nothing more than a green cube assembled out of smaller pieces. Uh, each individual piece is sort of like this. They do, they interlock. It's kind of like uh, single block Legos, if you've ever played with Legos. Now the assignment in hand isn't to just build a cube like this. The assignment in hand is to build a puzzle block. And this is a puzzle block. Now it may look like a bunch of random colors to you, but it's actually not. It is uh, pieces of interlocking puzzle. So if I disassemble it, each color is actually a part of it. So you can see the white is a shape, the pink is a shape, the green right here is a shape. Now obviously my orange piece came off, but you get the general idea that when I assemble these different shapes together, it makes a complete interlocking puzzle cube. Now here's the assignment at hand. You have to do this. And it's not nearly as easy as you might think. Uh, I've got a video that I'm going to put in right now that's going to show you sort of a time-lapse version of how you do it. Okay, now that you saw the time lapse on how you actually just plug and play all the pieces together, um, once you get your actual puzzle block together and you make sure that everything interlocks, you are going to have to photograph it with a cell phone or a camera from every single side. So take this picture, this picture, this picture, this picture, this picture, and this picture. Because even though you might think you remember how everything goes, having the pictures to refer to it is a whole heck of a lot easier. So um, when you're done and you have everything together, pull out your cell phone. If you don't have a cell phone, see me for a camera. And you're going to take a picture from every single angle imaginable so you can remember how to build this. It's going to be um, really important for your reference when you actually start to do the computer modeling. If you got any questions on this video, stop it, rewind, replay as many times as you need to get the concept. 